In this tip, I'm going to show you how to build a dot matrix plot. Dot matrix charts are very useful for understanding distributions in your data. They can give you a quick overview of the proportions that they make up in, within a certain category, or it can help you discover new patterns in your data. Let's take a look at how to build one of these. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at car sales by buyer age. I'm going to go ahead and look at just those sales in China. And I want to look at each individual sale. So I'm going to right click and drag order date, I'm sorry, purchase date to the detail shelf and choose discrete. And you can see now we have each individual purchase within China on each date. What we need to do now is we need to flip this axis upside down to turn it into a dot matrix chart. So first off, I'm going to change the mark type to a circle. And to make it go upside down, I'm just going to double click in the rows and type in index. This gives us a table calculation. Now what we need to do is we need Tableau to count each purchase date within each buyer age. So to do that, I'm going to right click on my index field, go down to compute using and purchase date. And now we can see the distribution of car sales in China by buyer age. Now, notice how this axis doesn't start at zero. If you're okay with it starting at one, you can leave it there. But if you want the first purchase to be at zero, all you would have to do is index minus one. But it gives you the same result. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to fit entire view. And then maybe I'll even set the buyer age to be a continuous field. And I like doing this because now my axis shows ticks every two years. From here, maybe I want to break this down by new and used cars. So I'm going to drop new and used onto color. But now I need to go back into my table calculation and tell Tableau to compute it by both purchase date and new car. And now we can see our new cars and our used cars. Maybe I'll go ahead and change these colors to make them a bit more obvious. I'm going to go ahead and choose my purple color palette. I'm going to make the trues a bright purple and maybe the false is maybe a paler purple. And there we go. So now we can see both the new and the used cars, and maybe I'll put a light border on them to make them stick out a bit more. Okay, and there you have it. That's how you create a dot matrix plot. Have a good day.